When it comes to the pyramids, I think the most valuable recent research that's been done is by Jean-Pierre Houdin. Uh, I like his theory, uh, but he would be the first one to admit that we can't say that his ideas are the explanation for how the pyramids were built or that we even need that. Uh, there's actually been a lot of academic research on pyramid building, megalithic architecture, uh, how stones of that size and greater were moved, how they were put side by side tightly. It's actually very simple in terms of applied physics. Uh, on my Paleo Babel site, again, if you click on the topic for pyramids, you'll find a number of peer-reviewed articles that I have online that you can read about ancient Egyptian engineering techniques. But Houdin's idea of an internal ramp, I think, uh, is coherent. I think there's good circumstantial evidence for it. If you have watched the National Geographic special uh, on his view, I think you would agree that there is good circumstantial evidence for it. It has a, has a lot of explanatory power for a lot of the fundamental questions. And I think it's important because Houdin's theory depends on a very simple idea in engineering, both in the ancient world and in today's world, and that is the use of weight and counterweight, uh, using the weight of one object to lift a, an object of greater weight. It's simple leverage, it's physics, it's applied physics. You don't need levitation or ancient aliens. What you need is you need a clever and a, and a good knowledge of how weight and counterweight work and you can get a pyramid out of that. So I, I would recommend uh, Houdin's work is really worth taking a look at, and along with the other material as well that scholars have produced.